I'm Albert Lin. I'm a research scientist at UC San Diego and a National Geographic Emerging Explorer. The project that I work on specifically uh, with GeoIM imagery involves a search for the tomb of Genghis Khan, his sons and his grandsons, in the northern part of Mongolia, in a land that hasn't been traveled to extensively or hasn't even been investigated for 800 years. Now, one of the biggest challenges that we faced with that was that we had so much information to even go through. So how do you do that, right? How do you go through every pixel of imagery to try to figure out what pixel is going to be an anomaly that gives you that clue, that, that meaningful answer? How do you extract the essence of what the imagery is actually trying to tell you? Well, it's easy for you to look at a pixel and say, that looks weird and that looks, that looks normal. But it's not easy to scale that up to to look at all of the pixels that are available sometimes, right? Like, how do you scale up the energy to look at all that data? So we built a platform that allowed many people to collaborate, a platform around this concept of crowdsourcing, where we said, if we can make many people have the ability to click little parts of an image and say, that looks weird, then areas where people were agreeing would end up giving us the clues that would allow us to go and check out what might be an anomaly uh, on the ground and try to look for those archaeological features across this massive step. This concept actually worked, you know, I mean, we, we ended up collecting millions of human inputs from a website-based platform where we sorted out satellite imagery from the GOI-1 provided by the GOI Foundation to individual volunteers who were just helping us look at data and they were getting their answers right. I mean we'd go to the areas where most agreement uh, had indicated that there was something there and we'd actually find things like 3,000 year old buried monoliths like this this 3,000 year old stone that was left there by, by a nomad with the inscriptions of the landscape that that nomad had observed around him that was left there 3,000 years ago but people were observing from space they were actually seeing this thing from the comfort of their couches on their computers saying, I see this little dot in this image that says there's something weird that, I, that, that just looks man-made, that looks non-natural. And we were observing it on the ground, connecting from that, that input from the crowd in the field in Mongolia and saying, you know what, you're right. You actually found this monolith that was 3,000 years old. That's crazy. That's amazing. And the fact that satellite imagery now exists for our entire planet at a resolution which could identify anything as big as you know ecological changes to anything as small as a single monolithic stone means that we're going to make some incredible discoveries it's a great time for exploration